Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. So we got a new important update uh, for the state of California. Uh, Governor Newsom, he underlined new guidelines uh, uh, for the state and pretty much it's a really important one, probably one of the most important conference he has had since the start of the pandemic. He is introducing a stay-at-home order uh, in, the, in the state of California and this state of uh, a tom order is going to be implemented uh, based on a certain threshold. So he divided uh, California in five regions. So we have uh, North Bay, you have South California, and so on. If any of those regions reaches uh, a 15% capacity for ICU, meaning that 85% is full and you only have 15 available, then that region is going to reinstated a uh, stay at home order which is pretty much the same that we did at the beginning of the pandemic uh, restaurants are only going to be able to do takeout or delivery uh, retail, retail stores only 20 percent uh, capacity and school are going to be closed for the most part only if uh, unless they have uh, a waiver uh, honestly i'm kind of upset because uh, we are completely, completely uh, messing everything up. I feel like the way that uh, we have handled this pandemic, this pandemic is pretty, pretty wrong. Um, first of all, we all know how serious COVID-19 is. We know that it's a major treat for people uh, and so on, but we cannot forget how important it is for people to survive, to make money, and to just live their life. Unfortunately, especially in a state like California where life expense is so high, like you can't even afford pretty much to rent a house unless you make almost $100,000 a year. And I'll be honest with you because I live in California and that's the truth. Like if you don't make $100,000 a year, you're are not going to make it in California and that's for me it's absurd because anywhere else you go in this in the US or outside the US $100,000 a year that should be more than enough to live a comfortable life a year in the California here in California you're living like at the bare bare minimum standards uh, but that's a different topic we, we need a new video for that so let's just focus on this new order as I said before I'm kind of upset because honestly we didn't handle, they didn't handle the pandemic correctly. Uh, you, you can have a leader that tells you what to do and he doesn't do what he tells you to do. This guy, a couple weeks ago, uh, he was dining in while everybody else was supposed to dine out in a fancy restaurant. So if you have those kind of leaders that they don't send you the right message, how do you think people, citizens, are going to react when you impose them something that you don't follow. Um, I feel like we should have been straightforward from the beginning. We should be like, uh, we need to take a major economic hit for now, but let's be assured that in a couple months we're going to be fine. But what they, do, what they did back then, they just locked down for one month and then they open everything back up and of course while you open everything back up people gather people go out and that's why honestly we never we never um, came out from the first wave because honestly the reason why we are so behind right now and we are back to a state at home more than california it's because we didn't uh, we didn't handle the first wave correctly because the way that they imposed the lockdown back then, uh, it wasn't the correct approach, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you examples of other countries like Italy, because that's that was a bit really, really strict over there. Uh, like, people couldn't go out of the, of the house. Like, unless you had a, a dog to walk, you couldn't leave your corner of the house. Like, that's like, that's like dictatorship level. Uh, what surprised me is that people are happy that Governor Newsom is uh, once again stating these new guidelines of uh, pretty much keeping people at home. Why are you happy? You're happy because uh, you feel like the pandemic is going to take a, a nice uh, turn 
by doing this, people are going to suffer even more, but not only now, but for future and future generation. I took a walk two weeks ago in a popular mall in my area, and I was surprised that for every, let's say, three stores, two were closed. Two were closed. And those were not popular franchise stores. Those are like small business owner. There was an ice cream shop that I used to go all the time, closed. Another uh, one of those Jewish stores, like, closed. Lockdowns, unfortunately, are counterproductive. Because you have to look about what are the effects when you when you instate something important like this. You have to look at the cost and benefits. If you took a, if you took an economic class, you know that every decision is based on cost and benefits, and that's why I don't like progressive people because they don't understand that. Okay, yes, it's true. Uh, we have a major threat in the environment, we need to do uh, something different, but their approach is wrong because you have to look at the cost and benefits, okay? Here, you have to outweigh, like, what are the costs and what are the benefits of this uh, uh, operation? In my opinion, the cost of doing strict lockdown like this are higher than the benefits that you're gonna have because at the end, the lockdowns, they're not truly worth it. Because, unfortunately, and unfortunately, unfortunately, people at the end, they do whatever they want. So you can, you can tell them, stay home, do this, don't do this. They cannot do whatever they want. Because even though you tell them, you gotta stay home, uh, don't go out, they're still gonna gather somehow. They're gonna have parties at home. They're gonna have uh, barbecue parties. They're gonna have a bunch of group gatherings. Okay, so unless you bring the uh, the army in town and you force everybody to stay home, and don't go out. People are gonna do whatever they want. They're gonna they're not gonna follow you. Okay, they're not gonna go to the mall. Okay, they're not gonna go out for di for dinner, but they are probably gonna have major parties at home or other people homes. So lockdowns they're not worth it. And who's gonna lose? Small business owner. Who's gonna lose? Kids, they go to school, they don't interact. Come on, guys. This is, not, this is not the correct approach. I was reading an interesting article, I think it was from Bloomberg or maybe uh, Yahoo Finance, about Japan. Like Everybody like always praises Japan because they all, Japanese people, they always follow the rules. They, always, they are so, uh, so strict with the rules too, you know? And they're so respectful because in Japan and in Asia in general, they wear masks, even before the pandemic, they used to wear masks, not because they were afraid to be infected by a new virus, but just because they know that there's always a risk of uh, spreading a, a virus to other people. So for them, wearing a mask is protecting other people, not us, okay? And that's a message that unfortunately in the Western society, it wasn't introduced correctly because unfortunately, and this is a fact, Many people think that wearing a mask is going to save them from the virus, and it's not true. Like, there is no way, there is no reason why you should wear a mask while you drive your car. There is no reason why you should drive, you, there is no reason why you, you, you wear a mask while you drive your car by yourself. If it's two people and you guys don't live with each other, okay, then okay, you guys wear a mask. But if you're by yourself, why are you wearing a mask? Okay, wearing a mask is an act of helping the virus not reaching other people that are maybe more susceptible to this virus. And people think that wearing a mask is going to save them. No. Wearing a, wearing a mask pretty much is, going, is, is trying to limit the viral load no, of the virus. Because that's an important key. Because unfortunately from what we're seeing from the numbers, it's really easy to get this virus. Unfortunately, it's one of the most contagious viruses that I remember in our society. And it's not a flu, it's not a cold. Like, the reason why I'm so upset with all this situation is that we are politicizing a really important issue in our society. Probably the most important task in the 21st century, so from the 2000 and on. And we're just politicizing this issue 
and whatever you feel like is the right thing to do I only think two approach one approach you no know, from the far from the left far left you're gonna die fear don't go out don't do this don't do this no stay home and then maybe I don't know drink and uh, kill yourself maybe that's better than uh, uh, going out and then another approach from the right no, this is easy. it's nothing too serious. We're gonna be fine. Don't worry. Enjoy your life. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, we didn't find uh, a way to bring the two together. Because what sh what we should have done from the beginning was this, guys. This virus is serious. This is a pandemic, and also even though you feel like you are a healthy individual, even though you feel like you're not gonna be affected you gotta think about the next person the guy that you may again that you may encounter no that person may be more susceptible to the virus and also like we have after nine months i feel like we finally have a nice uh, idea what's the age group of people that's more infected more impacted by the virus so it's like pay attention to those people instead no we didn't do this instead we pretty much Either we have some people that are saying don't go out, don't do this, blah blah, blah. and then you have other people that are saying you do whatever you want. And same thing again here with this lockdown, we are bringing the fear factor back again. And I know that uh, I know that uh, they're doing this because of the ICU situation. Okay, and I understand this, but what the reason why we are doing this is because we didn't handle the pandemic correctly early on throughout summer and throughout fall because we should not be in this situation right now locking down again after almost one year of COVID-19 being in our society because it's impossible that after 10 months you still haven't found a way to effectively be tackling this virus and the message has been always wrong either message for me either message is wrong fear or you're gonna be fine you're gonna survive it's wrong what they should have told us from the beginning guys our your life is going to be impacted somehow uh, for the next probably 10 months until we have a vaccine which probably is going to be in 2021 or even like late 2021 in the meantime make sure to limit your contact but make sure to keep uh, your uh, social life going mean that instead of going out with 10 people one person two people uh take you no know, instead, instead of going to the gym go for a run like there are people that run with a mask on how can you run with a mask on come on guys unfortunately we live in a society that it's controlled by the media and here unfortunately whatever is your stand left or right um both media they are sending you the wrong message. For one year, we have had the headline, 1,000 people dying every day. One like, there have been days like that I've been collapsing mentally because I, I cannot take this anymore. Like, they're bringing, so, they're bringing so much fear into my life that, man, I have my parents that are 60, I have, my, I have a grandma that she's 85, so they're much higher risk than me, so I, of course try to limit my exposure but man every time you bring those numbers up it's sad it's mentally sad um, going back to the argument that I didn't finish uh, so Japan I was reading this article uh, about one month ago that uh, last month Japan had more people dying from suicide in last on, last month only than uh, uh, COVID throughout the year more people have died from suicide suicide in one month than COVID in 10 year, in 10 months and I'm not saying this because I feel like you're gonna be fine with COVID you're gonna be fine if you get COVID I'm saying that we need to evaluate what are the cost of doing lockdown what are the cost of uh, uh, putting fear into people you're gonna have people that are gonna go bankrupt. You're gonna have people that are not gonna pay their rent. You're gonna have people that they're not gonna survive. And what's their solution, you guys? You cannot have lockdowns, unfortunately. You should have had approach to make both party, both uh, side happy. 
In, in my opinion, what they should have done is this. People that are more in more risk, they should stay at home more. And people that are in in the less risk category, those people should go to work and should uh, bring money for the family and bring the salary home. But here, you guys are pretty much collapsing the American dream. You guys are pretty much collapsing not only this generation, you guys are collapsing the future generation. It's like the stock market is all time high, okay? And for me, it makes no sense. But, and that's only on the news of a vaccine. Guys, the damage that has been done this year is going to be in our society next year, five years from now, and ten years from now. It's going to be a, it's going to be a really painful recovery. And my message is that stay strong, stay safe, follow the guidelines, wear your mask. But also, if you need to go to a run, if you need to clear your mind, do that, do yoga. Even though it says stay at home order, guys, keep your brain active. Keep your body active. Okay, make sure to do stuff like that. And if you're out of if you are out of work, unfortunately, make sure to file for employment. Make sure maybe to find a different type of job temporarily. Do something, guys, because unfortunately, and I have learned so much this year, your government, no, they don't care about you. Because if they would have cared about you, we should have had a second stimulus package by now. We should have handled this pandemic much better. Instead, America is supposed to be the best country in the world and we are one of the worst countries handling this this situation. Come on guys. Come on. Stay at home order. What about people now? And Christmas is approaching. You can have Christmas without people because you're already saying do not gather for Christmas. They cannot buy gifts. Okay, you're gonna be like Well it's just for this year. Guys, it's one year. Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Christmas, like I can feel myself, I'm tired mentally. I haven't seen my, some of my friends in months and I know that's better for society. Guys, unfortunately, you have to look at both ways. Lockdown, they don't work. You've seen in Germany, you've seen in Italy, you've seen in Spain. Italy, the, the strictest lockdown back in spring. What, what did what did they do? In June, they opened everything back up. Summer, and I know that because I have lots of friends in Italy. Uh, the disco are back up. People gathering. Like, you have thousands of people gathering. And now, back to lockdown. Like, they cannot even, they cannot even leave their own um, city. And they're already saying that there is a new guideline made by the government. And that's uh, nationally wide. That they cannot... Uh, get out of their city so even if you're thinking to celebrate Christmas with your relatives if you live in a different city you cannot reach them <sighs> man uh, I'm trying to be positive uh, I'm trying to stay strong but for me guys it's just tough moments uh, stay strong uh, be healthy uh, don't live in fear though like there is always a way. There is always a way in the tunnel that we're gonna be fine. So, if you can, shut off the TV, like, and free your brain, go to work, always respect the guidelines, do yourself. But man, I'm really upset. I'm really upset and I'm really terrified because this shows you what the government can do. Like, democracy, hmm. That's democracy. That's not democracy. That's pretty much imposing your own ideas. And I'm not just talking to the government. I'm talking about the media and everybody that has some influence on us. Uh, next video, I'm going to talk about different argument. Uh, I had to do this video because uh, just upset. I'm just really upset the way we are ending the situation. So stay strong. Uh, we'll keep in touch and always stay safe. Bye guys, thank you for watching a new video.